the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines rely on a new kind of approach to the science, RNA. Tonight, our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how RNA vaccines work. On the surface, the vaccine candidates from Moderna and Pfizer look like any other vaccine you've taken. It really felt just like a flu shot. Like other vaccines, they work by training your body to build up defensive weapons against the virus, like antibodies and T-cells. But instead of training your body by introducing a killed virus or a fragment of a virus, these vaccines introduce a set of instructions called messenger RNA or mRNA enclosed in a little blob of fat. The key concept of RNA is that RNA is messages and they're meant as like short term messages. So it'd be like in each cell at any given time, there are maybe five to 10,000 different messages. Dr. Shane Crotty at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology says the mRNA instructs some of your cells to make the coronavirus's signature spike protein, the key protein that unlocks the door to cells. He says it's just enough material to train the immune response, but not enough to make you sick. If it was like a car, it'd be like you're just showing the car door to the body, right? There's no way that car door can turn into a whole new car. Uh, but it's enough of a piece of the car for your immune system to recognize that car if it's on. Scientists started by sequencing the virus's DNA from a sick patient, then encoding that genetic sequence into an mRNA instruction molecule that can be read by the manufacturing part of cells. From there, it's a bit like Snapchat. The mRNA gets injected into your body, sending instructions to your cells that last for a bit and then get deleted forever. So it's not like your cells are being genetically modified. They're around as messages for some period of time and, and then they go away and, and then the cells get back to their their normal uh, job of, uh, uh, of, of reading their own messages instead of reading the message that you're injecting in the vaccine. The concept has been around since the 1990s, but there are currently no RNA vaccines on the market for any pathogen. So Dr. Crotty says it's hard to estimate how long lasting the immunity from them will be. Some existing vaccines protect you for life, like the measles vaccine. Others protect you for decades. The flu vaccine lasts just about six months. Dr. Crotty says it depends on how fast the virus mutates and how long the immune cells survive. But even in a worst case scenario, those aren't insurmountable problems because the best feature of RNA vaccines is that they can be quickly reprogrammed. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. It's amazing work. Both Moderna and Pfizer are still in their phase three trials, but they do expect to finish them by December. Together, they estimate they will have enough doses for about 35 million people by the end of the year, primarily for healthcare workers and high-risk individuals.